Okay, so this is my entry for the Redgate competition to write a Windows Phone application that developers will love, and it's called Pocket C Sharp, and it is a full C Sharp IDE running inside a Windows Phone 7. So I can go into here if I'm on a train, want to try some code out or something, and I have code snippets to make up for the fact that uh, I have a limited keyboard, and I have things like console.write line snippets, and then I have a uh, for each snippet as well, and I can expand that out. Um, and there I can put uh, some code in there, and then I can say uh, expand that out and write uh, item and uh, then I can run that up and that goes off to a web service which compiles and runs it for me and returns the console output so I can check that what I've done was working uh, I can close that, go back, maybe make a few changes so I can say var lower equals and then uh, how do you downshift uh, I know there's a char dot to lower or func function or something so let's look in, yeah, so we've got a custom look up against the MSDN uh, content and I can go in here and I can see the syntax for that is uh, it's a to lower and it takes a char of C so that's great I'll just go back to my editor and say uh, char dot to lower item um, and then I can run that and oh that's going to give me a compile error so I can see that error there that's because I haven't got a semicolon on the end there put the semicolon on run that, that works fine, so then I want to save that up to my web service um, so I can put demo2 in there because I messed up the first one of these and save that and then I can uh, bring in my browser um, so you can see this here and go to www.pocketcs.net um, and we'll go to demo2 which is what I just saved that as and you can see there's the code now I can copy and paste that into Visual Studio and carry on working with it back at the office so that's Pocket C Sharp um, one more feature is that uh, depending on your eyesight you can uh, change the font size to something nice and small so you can fit more on the screen um, if you're working with it on a phone with a pull-out keyboard, then it will work quite nicely in landscape mode as well, but the emulator doesn't let me show that. Okay, that's it.